Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, this is a special request to make a lock picking system. So let me show you the system that I've created. So we have some chests here, and the first chest is um, a level three lock chest. Um, the the person requested that it had that they wanted to have different levels of lock picking, so that not having just by having a lock pick, you're not going to be able to open every chest. Some lock picks will be harder than others. So. Uh, this is a level 3 chest, and you need a level 3 lockpick to open it. We say yes, we don't have one. We say no, nothing happens. This is a level 2 one. We say yes, we don't have a level 2 lockpick. We say no, nothing happens. This is a level 1, same thing. We say yes, we don't have it. We say no, nothing happens. But this is uh, an unlocked chest, so we've got 10 gold here. Let's go buy us a flimsy lock. This one says you need a level 1 locker to open, so we're going to open it. We got 100 gold. Let's buy us a better locker. A standard locker. We need level 2 to open it. Yeah, let's open it. We need 1,000 gold. Say you have a bunch of level 3 lockpicks, and you just want to get into this level 1 chest, but you don't have a, a, a flimsy lockpick, but you have better lockpicks. Shouldn't you be able to use your better lockpicks on a lower chest? We know they'll work on a level 3, but will they work on a level 2? Yeah, this requires a level 2 or higher lockpick. You have a level 3 lockpick, you want to use it? Yeah. Same thing will happen for the level one. It, it lets the player know that hey, it only requires level one, but you can use level three if you want to open it. Yeah. Cost us a thousand and we got a hundred. I don't know if that was worth it, but it's possible to do. So let me show you how I made that. Uh, you won't need any plugins or anything. All you're gonna have to do is go to your items and create your lockpicks. So the first one, uh, give it a name, an icon, a description, let the player know it's the basic level one. We're going to say it's a regular item, price is up to you. Say no on consumable, even though it's sort of consumable, but we're not actually using from the item menu, so say no. Uh, occasion never, scope none, everything else is blank. Copy paste this, change the name, change the, the level here, change the price if you want. And do the same thing for the third one, copy paste it, save you some time. Once we've got our... Um, items created let's create a, a quick event so we're gonna go quick event creation by right clicking on when we're selected on the event layer and we're gonna select the treasure chest it doesn't matter what you put in it because we're gonna use this as our, our base one we're basically gonna copy paste this for when they get the chest open this is our save us some time trick so when we have our chest open we could imagine that all of this would be at the bottom the, the, the copy paste step would be at the bottom if, you, if you're just creating a new one so at the very top, you're going to right-click insert new text saying that this chest is locked. Let the player know what item they need to open it. And then give them an option if they want to open it. If they say yes, do a conditional branch. Right-click insert new. Uh, let's start with the level 3 one because this will be the most simplest. So right-click insert new. Go to conditional branch. And you're basically going to check if the, the player has that item. So you would just select the item that they need to have. And you're going to select create, <coughs> excuse me, create an else branch as well. So inside of that, um, you're going to check, uh, you're going to change item if they have it uh, by reducing. So right click, insert new, uh, change items. I believe it's tab one right here, change items, and decrease by one the lockpick that they're consuming to get into this, the chest. If they're not, if you don't want them to consume it, it's like you find it once and you can open all those chests, then you can just ignore this stuff. Uh, underneath this, it's up to your creativity what you want to do. You can play a sound effect and then use weight frames. I'll show you where that's at. It's on tab two under audio and visual or video. Uh, play sound effect, SE right here. And then the weight command is right here. And the number tells you how many frames. So 60 frames would be a second. So this is play this sound effect, wait for a third of a second, play another one, another third of a second, play an animation, wait for a third, play another sound effect, uh, and so forth. And then this is where you would cop, this is where you would paste all that stuff that we did in our quick event creation. It looks pretty familiar, I'm sure. 
Um, so you would just paste that there for when they get it. Make sure that this is there so that it'll go to the next page. And on the else handler, you say you don't have the item required. In this case, the level 3 lock in the end. And that's it for the highest level 1, the level 3. So let's look at the level 2 one. Basically, you're just going to be doing the same thing except nesting another conditional statement and copy pasting stuff. So at the top, you'll give the, the description saying what level of chest this is and ask the player if they want to open it. Then you're going to show choices. In that choice, conditional branch, checking for that item they need to open this chest. If they uh, have that item, then in this conditional branch, you're going to uh, make sure you make this a con uh, and, uh, check uh, else handler. Oh, I can't talk. Uh, create else branch as well, on, and then change items by minus one. Uh, do your creativity, uh, make your creativity work right here by picking your sound effects and your animations and combinations of weights, and then uh, copy paste that uh, quick event creation for the items and, and that you want them to have. And inside the else handler, instead of saying you don't have that item, we're going to uh, make a conditional branch. If you want the player to be able to use level 3 lockpicks on a level 2 or level 1 chest, you would do this. Basically, you would just do it, create another conditional branch, except this time it would check for the level 2. Uh, and wait, this is 2, right? So this would check for the level 1, or level 3, sorry. So this is checking for if they have a level 2 first, and then we're checking to see if they have a level 3, if, if they don't have the level 2. So in this one, you're going to let the player know that, hey, this only takes a level 2, but you have a level 3, do you want to use it? Give the player an option with show choices. Uh, put in your, uh, or take away the item, and then put in your sound effects and weeks and animations. Copy paste the quick event creation underneath that right here. And then when they say no, of course nothing will happen. <clears throat> when they uh, say, uh, if they don't have a level 3 or a level 2 on the else handler, you, this is where you say you don't have a level 2 lockpick uh, or a level 3 one. But then that, that'll be the end of that. So then this level 1 chest would be the most uh, eventing, but it's really not that hard because you're just copy pasting stuff. So do the same thing. Show the text saying this lock level takes a level 1. Should give the player a choice if they want to open it. They say yes. Just do a conditional branch, checking if they have that flimsy lockpick. If they do, take away that lockpick if you want them to, uh, if you want it to be consumable. Um, and then you play your animations and your sound effects. You copy paste the quick event creation. On that else handler, you're going to check if they have a level 2. And if they have a level 2, then let the player know that it takes a level 1, but you have a level 2. And then uh, if you want to use it, give the player a choice, show uh, choices, yes or no. Uh, on the yes handler, um, uh, take away that item, play your sound effects and your animations, and then copy-paste it. Basically, you can just take what you have up here in this first one, underneath the when they said yes. Just copy that, and then paste it right here, underneath when they say yes the second time, because you've already checked if they have the, the level 2. In the else handler for this one, instead of saying you don't uh, have a level 2 lockpick, you would uh, put another conditional statement, checking if they have the, the level 3 lockpick. So in this conditional branch, you would check for the level 3 lockpick, and then let the player know that, hey, this is level 1 lock, but if you can use level 3 if you want. Show choices, and then paste that again right here. All of that could just be copy-pasted in there. And then on the else handler for the third conditional branch, you say you don't have a level 1 lockpick. Matter of fact, you can say that you don't have any lockpicks on this one. But that's basically it. Hopefully you guys like this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And if you have a suggestion or if you'd like to see a special request made, put it in the comments below, and I will add it to the list of stuff that I need to get done. So you guys are great. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.